Hey, three new this morning. You are about to see the amazing high tech answer for parents who worry about how their developmentally disabled children will ever make it on their own. The group Living Arrangements for the Developmentally Disabled, or LAD, has given our Allie Kramer a tour of their recently completed new home in Anderson Township. Allie joins us live with more on how this home is truly changing their lives. It'll, it'll bring you tears, Allie. Oh, absolutely, Julie, because this is something that a lot of parents worry about. What will happen to my son, to my daughter uh, when I'm not around to care for them? And so that's exactly what LAD is doing. They are putting uh, together these smart homes. The first one right here in Anderson Township, it is loaded with technology that really enables uh, the folks and the gentlemen that live in the home to be able to care for themselves independently without support in the home. My dream was to move out here to Anderson, and I finally um, achieved that dream. 36-year-old Matt Chaffin is living that dream. Matt moved into this new lad house on September 30th. He's now just a few minutes from his parents at his childhood home. It's something that he's always wanted, but we never thought we would see. Matt's parents, Sue and Ernie, tell us that Matt is hydrocephalic. He was born with fluid on his brain, which resulted in a serious visual impairment. But this home allows Matt to navigate daily tasks with some ease. I like using the uh, smart refrigerator because it uh, allows you to see what, what kind of groceries you need. A virtual tour of the home shows us that technology is everywhere, from fingerprint access at the front door to smart appliances like a washer and dryer and dishwasher that can be controlled by support staff for assistance. There's a system called Grand Care, and that's where you can communicate face to face. Matt piloted that before we got to the smart house, and that has been a godsend as far as communication, seeing how he looks. They also use it to communicate with remote staff. That's why there's so much technology in the house. The end goal is to be able to have support staff working 100% remotely. That remote staff monitors the four young men living in the home, each with their own room and rooms that accommodate their needs. We have a sensory room, which allows us to, like let's say I come home from work and I had a really hard day or a bad day or something, I can just go in that room and calm down. Matt says there are some long days. He works at the LAD office in North Avondale, and when he's not working, he volunteers at the Free Store Food Bank and at Crans to Computers. But when he's home, Matt's parents are welcome in the home anytime. The number one thing it's done is brought him back into a community of, of three other guys. And he has interactions with staff daily. And it, it's really changed his world drastically. And Mom Sue says it's satisfaction for the soul that Matt has his forever home. The fact that we feel secure that he has a good place to be if something should happen to us as we grow older. Now, this is, again, sort of the pilot program, the first smart home of its kind, and LAD is really studying uh, the impact that this could have, and they're working with Xavier University's Department of Occupational Therapy to also sort of evaluate, you know, what technology works best in the home and uh, what may be able to provide them more independence and more affordability going forward. This really could change the way that a lot of folks live. For now, reporting live in Anderson Township, Allie Kramer, WCPO 9 News.